welcome to the channel. I'm here to announce a new series. It's new to you and new to me. Picked up this book the other day. It's Fish of the Midwest. On the back here it shows kind of what states it covers. And it has bass, panfish, trout, catfish, suckers, minnows, and primitive fish. But there's a good variety, a good number of fish in here. And we are going to try to catch every single one of them through this summer. Each video is going to be a new episode on what new species of fish that we catch. And let's get to it. Got my nice tackle boxes here. So this was my current setup. I was using this the other night and I got three nice strikes but I missed them all because I didn't know how to set the hook. We're going to put something on a little bit more deadly. This puppy. It's got nine hooks. No fish is escaping this puppy, alright? So this doesn't have a lip so you kind of have to twitch it. So on a lure like this, it has a lip right here, this little plastic piece, uses the water current and it wiggles. The action isn't as good, but since we're working it against the current, it might work pretty well. Kind of like an injured fish. We're gonna go stop by some of these holes and knock on the door and see if any fish are home. There's a nice trench right in front of us that we're gonna try to give a go. You wanna kinda try to cast it as close to the bank. Now this stream or creek or whatever, this river is a little narrow, but I caught something, guys. I caught a tree fish. I caught a tree fish. All right, guys. So I was using the whopper plopper here the other night, guys. Threw it downstream. That thing was going, doing whatever a whopper plopper does. You know the noise, guys. Big, huge dogfish sucked it up and snapped it off. So if I see him with my lure in his mouth, I'm done. No luck in these few holes, but we're gonna move downstream. I know a trench. I know there's a fish in this next one, guys, trust me. I'm a really big fan of this lure. <laughs> that was a gnarly <laughs> part. Uh, this freaking lure sucks. Move up a little bit more. Usually, if they don't strike it pretty fast, they're not home. Money, dude. That was a money cast, dude. Come to the conclusion that this lure freaking sucks. We're gonna switch up and catch a fish. All right, so this puppy here, we're putting him back. He was terrible. He did not have very good action. He might do good in the evening when the butt bass are out, but we've switched to this guy. It's kind of a weedless Ned rig, only because I think it's real bright and hot out, and so the fish are real tucked under tight into some cover, and so this guy gets snagged on everything with my expert casts, and so we're gonna go with a little weedless guy. And his profile's a little bit smaller too, so hopefully we should get some, some nice action with this guy. And also, let me know, guys, if you ever want to take a look into my tackle box. They say, as organized as a man's tackle box is as organized as what's in his brain. So don't look in mine, please. Have you tried the Ned Rig? Why, yes. I'm trying it now. I have two tackle boxes. That means I have two brains. Look at that beauty. Can't wait to do this two-year-long series with you guys of catching fish at this rate. Let's get to going to catch a freaking fish. Got a fish. Oh, there's a, there's a rock bass. All right, guys, so look. My plan, literally as we were walking down, just worked. There's a big shrub of cover right there. It kind of sticks out. He already got freaking messed up. There's a nice rock bass down here. That'd be an awesome species. Look, I'm not even gonna cast. I'm just gonna drop it. I'm gonna let him kind of float underneath. Bam, got him, guys, I told you. Oh yeah, baby, it's a nice rock bass. Woo! First species of the day. This is a nice rock bass. Perfect, they love crawdads. All right, get some nice close-ups on that guy. Get some nice. He's looking, he's looking beautiful. What a nice little healthy, healthy rock bass, guys. So they have red eyeballs, and I think there's some different subspecies of rock bass too, but he has red eyeballs. You know, normal size that they get. They don't really get much bigger than this, maybe. Meh, that size. Meh. 
we'll catch a big one one of these days and show you. But first species, guys, let's let them go here. And what I kind of noticed too is that rock bass are pretty territorial because I know that because there's a little rock bass that hides up underneath the tree. I caught him four times. So I'm, let, I'm just dropping him in. I'm letting the current kind of take him in, take him underneath that. Maybe there's a large mouth too. First species, guys, a rock bass. Pretty nifty. It's a thumbs up. You can check one of those off the box. Sweet. That's a fish, guaranteed. Right, we're gonna have to chop this tree down one of these days and then I can get a better approach. Cause you need to literally cast your lure like that close to the bank. Cause right now it's hot and sunny. So they're all tucked real tightly under some cover. That's how Mr. Rocky was doing. But we're gonna go catch some more down here. I know it. So this river is not very big. Obviously you can tell the size, but it's not very deep is what I meant to say. Not Gotta get a little bit closer to that stick. Since it's weedless, right here the hook, I'm gonna try to post it right up underneath with the other lure that we have with the six trebles I got caught on it. And also too, if we're gonna be doing the series, I might have to upgrade my pole. He's in like 15 pound monofilament, winding up like a slinky. Not very sensitive pole, so I kinda am going off instinct at the moment. Oh, I had something nibbling on it. So I'm gonna try to do that one more time. I had a little strike. I'm not sure what it was. It didn't feel super huge, but it could have been a new species, guys. It could have been a new species. So I'm also running off the same line that I've had on since last season. You want the line as tight as you can because then you can feel them nibbling, you can feel them biting. But if there's a lot of slack and slinky, there's more kind of give. So you can't really feel the bite as easy. So I might have to get a new setup, get some new line, maybe put some braid on there. One more lucky cast. There we go, that was a good one. Come on, weed this setup, are you kidding me? Uh, give me my freaking money back, guys. There's so much weeds on this thing. Big ol' fatty in there and he lives there and his name is Darla. I'm gonna put my lure here, zoom in on this lure here. I'm gonna just, you know, attach it to a stick, a shrub, a branch, anything you can. Kind of as far as I can cast, I can cast length. It's the hillbilly way, tighten your line. But don't go too fast and don't squeeze too hard because you'll cut your hand on whatever line you got. Yeah, buddy, that's a brand new line. That's brand new, I don't need a spoon up. that save me 10 bucks. <laughs> All right, now we're off to catch a nice fish. I was doing that because I know there's gonna be fish in this next hole, and I can't have any freaking hiccups. You know, I have to know when they're biting. Oh, there's a POQ, oh my gosh. There's a gargantuan bass right there. Wow, that's a big old mama. There's a big, huge bass right there, probably a four or five pounder. Yeah. Yeah. He like does not care. Oh, I got a stick, guys. I got one. Look at it. I got a huge one. These things are native to the subtropical areas of Northwest Pacific East, and they strike on a full moon in July. Looks like I got lucky today. Dogfish right there. There he is. All right guys, so while we were fishing, we also put out this live trap for minnows. I didn't even put any food in here, but look. Ooh, ooh, yeah, look at here. Guys, what do we catch here? It looks like a freaking baby catfish. How exciting is that, guys? And some, some little fishies, too. Three little fish and a catfish, guys. A mini catfish. That's the coolest thing since sliced bread. I think it's like a little bullhead or something. And let me know down in the comments if that's if I even turn the comments on. If this considers catching them, or do I have to catch them with a pole? It's catching them with a net, spear, pole, trap. What are the rules here, guys? But I consider that that's two species. Three, technically, are these baby rock bass. Try to get them in the sunlight. Are these baby rock bass or something? 
Look at that. I don't know, they don't really have red eyes. And they're really tiny. There's three of them. They might be a subspecies. We could have three species here, guys. Oh yeah, and watch out, guys. Catfish have little, yikes, they have little spikers. Behind their fins here, behind these little fins, they have spikes right there. I just touched one. And oh yeah. These little fins, and then on this dorsal fin, there's like a bone that sticks up, and they'll prick you. Big ones will get you sometimes. Pretty cool, guys. We caught three fish this episode, and I look forward to making some more episodes, because we're not gonna be done until we catch every fish species in that book. It's gonna be hard. All right, guys, thanks so much, and we're gonna end it with a nice scripture. It's 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your care upon him, because he cares for you. Jesus loves you guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys in some future episodes.